Welcome to a special segment of Talking GOP. I am here at the Support the NYPD rally in Middle Village in Queens, New York. I'm here with the organizer, Mr. Charlie Blues. Thank you so much for organizing this. I'm one doing? of the organizers. No, I'm one of the organizers. This is a community organized event. All the communities are involved. So why did you create the event today? Or why did you help organize the we event? Need, we felt that the NYPD are unfairly under attack. And we felt that we had to show our support for the NYPD. And was police everywhere. They're the ones that are they're protecting our freedom. They're keeping us safe. And we had to say, we want the police, we want to protect them, and we want to thank them for since 1995 saving over 35,000 New Yorkers' lives. And unfortunately, those 35,000 people don't know who they are, but they've been saved. We've been saved. The city's so much better. We know what we've done in the past that's been bad, and we don't want to go back to the bad old days. We want to keep a strong NYPD, and we want to save this city. Very good. Do you think that the NYPD should have knelt during the uh, during the demonstrations in Queens? Absolutely. No, absolutely not. I don't think I don't think anybody we should kneel before God and that's it. Fair enough. Well, there you have it. We gotta get some more footage here about the uh, about the rally. Very exciting. See you all soon. Thank you. NYPD! We support! 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 Here with another one of the organizers, Miss Kim. How are you doing today? I'm good, thank you. Why did you help organize this event? Because we're sick and tired of the entire police force in this country getting slack for what a few did. It's not fair to them. They protect us every day, and it's not fair what they're going through, and they need to know their community support them, care about them. Do you think that the New York City government, overrun by predominantly Democrats, do you think they're supporting the police? Not at all. Not at all. And what do you think about their narrative to defund the police? I think it's horrendous. They're already short, our precinct alone is already short staffed. I mean, what it, they have to pay them to patrol the streets and keep us protected. I don't understand where they think they can, where, how they're going to fit more cops in with less money. It doesn't make any sense. And I think you can join me in saying that the NYPD is probably, for the amount of stress and the, how difficult their job is, probably does some of the best jobs they do. in the country. They do. They deserve a lot of credit that they never got. So, there you have it. We're here to support the police. It's a consensus all around. So, Mr. Tony Lindziata, how are you doing today? Very good. Excellent. How come you came out today to, uh, to support your police? Because uh, you have to, have to have that blue line to separate that insanity to normality. And that's what we need the police to make sure our communities function well. And if you take away from them, stop everything against the police, we have no security, we have nothing in this country, we have no police. Right. Now, there are people that say that the blue line means that, you know, that's your choice, that, we, we don't, we, that blue lives don't matter because it's a choice to put on the uniform. What are your, what are your thoughts on that? That blue line is just that it's a, a, a brotherhood of police. So you have black. You have everybody who is on the NYPD. So it's all mixed nationalities, mixed races. So it's all good things. They're just looking out for the people so they have safety. That's all it's about. NYPD! 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 You want to walk without us? NYPD! NYPD! Are you only here, Charlie? I know. Thank you. Thank you. Heard.
Eight more years, President Trump. Eight more yes, years. Yes, President Trump. That's right. Give him Johnny. You go on.
I'm here with Michael Canigliaro at the Support the NYPD rally uh, slash march today. How are you doing today, Mike? Very good. Happy to be here. That's awesome. How come you're out here today marching? Because the NYPD and all police throughout the country deserve our support for the good work they do. And we just want to show and let them know today that we do support them and we want to let them know that in this community and all communities, we know that the majority of all our police officers are good people. And we appreciate the hard work they do and we want to let them know that we got their back every day and we appreciate and love what they do and we want to make sure that they know that. Any exciting plans for the future? Right now we're planning on a possible run for city council. And uh, we're working on that with our exploratory committee. And we're going to make sure that once we have all the uh, issues in place, that in 2021, in the uh, Forest Hills, Rigo Park, Richmond Hill, Kew Gardens area, we'll be looking to get new, uh, new people, such as myself, in power in the city council, so that we can change the ways that our government has been taking decision-making in the city. We have a mayor who's completely incompetent. We have a governor who's completely incompetent. And we need to bring people into office who will bring back law and order and give, and give people the comfort to know that they're going to have peace of mind where they live and they're going to have people watching their backs and governing for them that have their interests in mind and not the interests of people that are not looking to make the neighborhoods better but worse, such as Antifa and these groups that have negative aspects and negative agendas. Make New York City safe again. That's the bottom line here. Correct. We're Absolutely. here to support our police. And we want to make sure that not only do we support our police, but we support all of our, our ACs, the, the FDNY, the sanitation, the NYPD, and all the city agencies that are out there working hard each day protecting and working for our city and we appreciate everything they do and in time we're going to get new leadership in and bring the city back to where it belongs and have a good quality of life in every neighborhood once again. So right here I have Jimmy and Dennis from the White Star Republican Club. We're here at the Support NYPD uh, March and Rally. What brings you gentlemen out here tonight? Uh, it, it's, it's all in the names. We're uh, walking for our, um, our, our boys and girls in blue, and we're here to support them. You know, they, they, they have a real tough job. They certainly don't get paid enough, uh, and their lives are just as important as everyone else's. So uh, we're here to show them that through all the, uh, the hate that they've been experiencing over you know, the past couple weeks, month or so, that uh, there's a lot of people that love them and support them out here. Absolutely. That's why we're so here. tired of this anti-police narrative. Every single person in the country, in this city, was outraged at what was done to George Floyd. But we know that was an aberration. There is not systemic violence by our police. There is not systemic racism by the great, great majority of our police. They go out and risk their lives every day to protect people of all colors, and we want to show our support when everyone else is jumping on them. I'm not sure about you guys, but this seems like a pretty peaceful protest. Yep. Almost like it was supposed to be. Listen, I'll tell you, I was expecting maybe 60, 70 people. There's got to be close to 400 people here tonight. Um, More and it's, it's, a thousand. You know, maybe a thousand people, and it just goes to show you that people have come from, from all parts of Queens, maybe even further out, uh, different boroughs. And we're all here for one common cause. You know, my father was a New York City police officer for 29 years. Um, and there wasn't one point in his almost 30 year career where he was uh, labeled a racist. Uh, he was never uh, called anything hateful. Um, he never killed anybody. You know, he did his job uh, to protect and serve. And that's what um, I would say 99.9% .9 of our police officers are trying to do, um, especially here in New York City, the greatest police department in the world, the largest police department in the country. Um, so, you know, let them do their jobs, take the bad people off the street, and uh, this is why we can do this. Uh, it's because of people like that. So, you know, we're here to say thank you. We love you. We support you. And um, keep up the good work. You deserve a pay raise. Final thoughts? Final thoughts? I can't, I can't put it any better than what you just did. We love you and support you. And the White Stone Republican Club supports you 100%. That's right. Good. We're good.
ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. We've got some great interviews from this peaceful, diverse supporting of the NYPD. We thank you for all that you do, for keeping us safe, for your professionalism, for your courtesy, all that you stand for, and we have the utmost respect for you. Thank you for all that you've done. We support you. All of us here support you. Thank you to, for Queens for coming out, for all of you guys who supported this. This has been another segment of Talking GOP. Hope you enjoy. Make NYC safe again. God bless NYPD. Thank you.